So today in the season of Lent, we celebrate a solemnity, a solemnity of a very important person, but very, very silent in scripture and even in the church. Pope Pius IX made St. Joseph the patron of the month of March. So the whole month actually is dedicated to St. Joseph in addition to the fact that he is the patron of the church. When we say, you know, we have patron for CY or patron for Christian mothers. He is the patron of the Catholic church. And again, the protector of the church. Why so? Just as he was able to, to take care of Jesus, the only, you don't joke, eh? <laughs> Picking um, a father for your only begotten son. It was Joseph from the line of David whom God himself chose. And so we believe that just as he took care of Jesus in a wonderful way, he takes care, he protects the church in a special. In addition to that, he's also the patron of a happy death. You know, as Catholics, we pray. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. He's a patron for a happy death. I've been praying to him that I'll die in a happy way. <laughs> Why not? Because it is believed that he died in the presence of who? Jesus and uh, Mary. And for that matter, we invoke his intercession for that kind of death. What can we pick on a weekday when we celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph? I believe that we can learn from his righteousness. He was known to be a just man. Immanuel Kujo, am I just? You. Are you just? Can they say, oh, she was a righteous woman. She was a just woman. Oh, he was a just priest. He was a righteous priest. And I believe that this example of Saint Joseph, as I said, who was very silent, but did a lot in protecting Jesus Christ, being that legal father of Jesus, to protect, to be. It's not easy to take care of, quote-unquote, a, a, a child you have not given birth to. But he accepted the will of God for him. And that is the second point. I've been asking myself, but didn't Joseph have plans for himself and Mary? He's chaste. St. So Joseph never had sex with Mary. That is church teaching. Chaste. The fact that he didn't go behind his wife. And again, he was chaste in what? In marriage. Let's take note of that. Two points. That he never, he, had a, he didn't have a side check in Nazareth. So, I think I you're laughing. No, that's the truth. He didn't have a side check in Nazareth. So, or let me go to Bethlehem small and visit small and come. No, he was a chaste man. And even in marriage, he did not touch his wife. I'm not saying don't touch your wife. You are not saying, Joseph, take it easy. You can touch your wife. But be chaste in marriage in the sense that you do not go behind. And that is why in the Catholic Church today, it's a day for which people? For men. Men, oh men. You. They would not come to church for, to celebrate St. Joseph. But it's a day for you to learn from the virtues of St. Joseph, who was the husband of what? So uh, look at yourself. Me, I'm married to the church, so I'm looking at and I, But ask yourself, so are you a worthy husband? Are you taking care of your wife? You have never even bought a cloth in Toma, in Toma for your wife before, after an engagement, that's all. Even when your wife helped you to buy it, to get her married. That's the truth. Let us be sincere. You don't tell your wife you love her. You don't give her care. Today I'm on the men because it's St. Joseph's Day. Another day will be the, the woman's time. But let, let us not make marriage life stressful as a man you have a responsibility to take care of your wife to take care of your children i'm telling you joseph i believe had plans 
He had plans for himself. But when God chose him as the spouse of this young girl, of course, he was already to, to her. And if he wanted to divorce her quietly, God said, hey, 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 you lie about the child is mine. Go on. He accepted. Even when in Luke, Jesus got lost, quote unquote, the missing child, Jesus. You remember? In Jerusalem. And they spent days looking for him and they found him in the temple. They said, don't you know I must be doing my father's work? Hey. Some of us, that is the day. The day. The day Jesus would have left her. If you, you know your father, go to your father. Silently, he continued the task. Let us accept the will of God for us. So two things. Number one, be just, be righteous. Number two, like Joseph did, let us accept the will of God for us in our lives. And for men, married men, let us learn from St. Joseph for whose celebration today in Lent we celebrate a solemnity. It's like Sunday. We shall recite the creed. We have sung the Gloria. Even when Lent, we don't sing Gloria even on Sundays because of the virtues he lived. May God be with us in a special way. Amen.